Welcome back, this is part 5, and where we last left off, I built a little closet in the corner of the room. I guess it's a small room, not a closet. I'm going to actually make this guy not active real quick, and I'm going to test the map. So to test it, I'm going to save it as, in my redis folder, custom stories tutorial maps folder. I'm going to save it as tutorial. Now that we have it saved. I'm gonna drag this over. We're gonna open it and we're gonna launch tutorial. It, has, uh, it says by Green GCO 35. I'm gonna click start. Alright, so here, see, we spawned where we wanted to spawn. And we got our tinder boxes in the drawer. Our lights are nice and bright. And in order to make the rooms look better, we're going to add more lighting, and I will show you how I'm doing that. And I'm going to grab this one. But in the meantime, we can just let our eyes adjust to the dark. Get these boxes out of the way. Grab the lantern. And we do have a full thing of oil. Now we're going to open this door. And the window looks good. I put a broom in the closet. It's kind of messed up. I gotta angle it. The window looks nice and bright, though. Just gonna open this. Let's see. It starts up with the tinder box. And with these windows, we're gonna add a few more lights this way, so it brightens the room a little bit more. Let's go do that right now. Alright. We're back in our editor. I'm just gonna duplicate these real quick and just drag them out because I don't feel like creating whole new ones. Okay. This will definitely make your lap, your map look a lot better if you have lighting. It looks really nice. Okay. Now we're gonna do the same for this. Actually, not so far away. And I'm actually going to turn the radius up a little bit to about four, so we get a little bit more light. All right. Now, for these, I'm actually going to duplicate them and drag them out and add a little bit more lighting up at the top. Okay, drag up a little bit more. Let's see, now let's see what that looks like. Yeah, that makes it a little bit brighter. Is that actually in the ceiling? No, it needs to go down just a little bit. There we go. Much better, much better. Now, over here. Let's add a random round table. Oops, I mean the wrong thing. Entities. You want to go to your entities and go to furniture. And everything is in alphabetical order, so we're gonna find a t nice round table. I'm just gonna place it right in the middle of the room. Kind of random, but it's okay. Everything is random. That's good. That's good. That's good. Let's do try. Candlestick try. Create on surface. Do it right. Well, I kind of want it angled. There we go. Alright. Now we're going to make another light. And we're going to drag it up. And 
turn the radius up just a wee bit. I'm gonna edit, duplicate, drag up. Now, let's see how that looks real quick. Looks a little better. See the lighting looks a lot better. You can the drawers aren't as dark. Definitely need a little more lighting over this way though. So let's go do that right now. Alright, so let's add some lighting. I think I'm gonna do let's actually do a lamp in the corner that hangs from the wall candlestick wall there we go turn off green on servers otherwise it looks like shit alright now rotation Whoops. I actually think I should put it over here and up. Now it's sort of in the middle, and I want to create a light, a point light. Drag it up and turn the radius up. We're about out of time here, so I'll make one more duplicated light and I'll turn the radius down about 2.5. Do it about here and drag in front a little bit too far. I'm gonna do that again for the other side as well so we get some light over here. Alright. I will catch you on part six.